I've been reading up a lot lately on a lot of different uh, issues, uh, one of which is um, do bosses have the right to fire you if you post something nasty about them on Facebook? I've had to deal with this with my last job where somebody snitched on me, not that I actually was technically doing anything wrong. I left names out, people didn't know where I worked, so on and so forth. But um, yeah, apparently uh, if, I, if, I did it, if I did it wrong enough, they would have fired me. Well, this is actually a two-fold um, um, story here because there's actually two things that are having to deal with uh, the right to, to do things. One of which I think goes too far and another which I think doesn't go far enough. Griping about work online is mostly protected. Employees have the right to band together, says recent ruling. Companies have been overstepping their authority by restricting workers' online comments, says federal officials who are moving to fix the law. Labor regulators have deemed some firings over social network discussions illegal, arguing that companies' rules regarding online speech are far too broad. Absolutely, I agree. The New York Times reports, a lot of workers, quote, view social media as the new water cooler, I, end quote, says the head of the National Labor Relations Board. Quote, we're all doing, we're all doing, or all we're doing is applying traditional rules to new technology, end quote. Thanks to the 1935 National Labor Relations Act, workers have a right to engage in concerted activity, unquote, for, quote, mutual aid, end quote. When it comes to discussing matters like working conditions, officials say, but not every online complaint is fair game. The Times offers some examples of both. When a social worker threatens to tell the boss that fellow employees were slacking, one person took to Facebook to ask others how they felt about the threat, all of whom, all who commented were fired. Labor officials called those firings illegal. But when a police report jokingly complained on Twitter, or a police reporter jokingly complained on Twitter that they that there hadn't been enough local murders, the ensuing firing was deemed legal because the posts were not about working conditions. And I agree with that. I have no issues with that. What I do have issues with goes back to Oklahoma, you know, one of my favorite states, one of those states that's been trying to push and propose anti-science legislation bills uh, through their Senates. They put out a poll uh, that says bosses should be able to ax smokers. David Holt trying to repeal law protecting smokers. If you're a smoker who lives in Oklahoma, watch out. Your boss may soon be able to fire you for the unhealthy habit. If one state senator has his way, Oklahoma currently has a law prohibiting employees from discriminating against smokers. But State Sen David Hoyt uh, has introduced a new bill that would repeal the protection and allow employers to make decisions about hiring and firing and medical coverage based on smoking habits. If they do their job, if they're not blowing smoke rings into their fellow workers' um, faces, when we've already told them they have to be outside the building, which I do actually tend to agree with, I don't like the numbers, I don't like the examples or the studies that come of secondhand smoke, full stop. That said, however, I don't believe that they need to be an absolutely persecuted minority for choosing to do what they do. And I don't think that they... Because it's this isn't entirely just about smokers, but I'll get to that in a second. I think this this is a bad idea. I don't think anything about this is okay. Sure, they're endangering their health. Sure, they might, in certain cases, uh, actually have higher rates of insurance claims and issues of that nature. But you know what? There are people who do almost every drug on the planet, and they're alive and kicking. There are people who do one drug and they keel over and they die. 
There are people who smoke who are actually a lot more fit than most non-smokers out there and actually live a nice full life, maybe with the raspy voice and things of that nature, and maybe a cough, but they still live out their natural lives. And then there are those who do keel over because of these cancers, the diseases, and all the other issues associated with smoking. Is it okay to just say, well, you have an unhealthy habit, I'm going to fire you? This is where this sets a bad precedent. No. Because I've already been talking about fat acceptance, not just in things like the fashion industry, but in the workplace. Fat people are discriminated against, and they are, even if they are healthy for their weight, uh, an employer could look at this person, make a snap judgment that they must be unhealthy and that their weight is unhealthy without having any medical degree or a right to say so, and fire that person for having, quote unquote, a bad habit an unhealthy habit, excuse me. That's not right. If this starts, this isn't any different than a lot of the anti-video game legislation that's trying to take hold in this country and is based equally on the same amount of bullcrap. You know, you could argue, well, yeah, but smokers absolutely have known health issues. Fat people may not have health issues, but some of them can be too fat. No! This is their fight. That's like saying, oh, you chew gum? Well, I'm going to fire you because I, my, my father was killed by a gum chewer. Or my father's teeth uh, fell out of his mouth because he chewed gum too much. So that's an unhealthy habit. I don't want that. Oh, so you'd rather they were smoking if they're somebody who uses gum instead of cigarettes. Because uh, where's the line? Where's the line? Do we, do we consider moral issues to be unhealthy habits? Do we consider socially moral issues to be unhealthy habits? You know, where's the line? Because there's known health issues and then there's assumed health issues like with fat people or overweight to be, I guess, more fair because I'm not trying to offend anybody who might be overweight. I, but at the same time, I hate political correctness, so whatever. I, I'm trying to find the middle ground here. My point being, though, that it, it just it comes down to this issue of some people live unhealthy lifestyles. Some people might be gaming too much, and though they show up to work, they're often tired, and that could present itself as a problem, because what if they fall asleep on the forklift? What if they uh, are carrying a heavy box and they uh, lose their balance because they're just off today, because they were they spent 23 hours playing uh, Grand Theft Auto the other night? You know, this is not a way to conduct business, especially in the case of smokers. I knew smokers who were hard-working people. They smoked, sure. Some of them coughed and wheezed while they did the hard work, but they did it. It didn't prevent them from doing their dang job. So no, I think that goes too far, and I'm glad that they're trying to plug the holes in the the being able to gripe online about working conditions, because where I was at, they were going close to Foxconn-esque escapades in terms of how they were working us and how they were squeezing every ounce of extra work they could get out of us without paying us. And if I were to say that online, if I were still working where I had worked, I would be fired in a hot minute. But I'm not being slanderous against the company. They would have to prove that they're not conducting, conducting their business in these ways. And I could sure as heck probably have found a memo or two that was passed around to prove my case. But I digress. So that's my take on workplace rights and how some things are starting to try to bound and be too far. I don't agree with some of where things are going, and in other places I do agree. But what do you feel? How Do you agree or disagree with what I've said about these two topics here?